Okay, guys, I know this is a little bit different, but bear with me. Um, I have an update that is absolutely huge and could show signs of the counteroffensive that the Ukrainians have been planning pretty much all winter. So here's the update video. All right, so what I'm going to do is set this up. So we all remember when her son was recaptured, which is a, a huge chapter in the Ukrainian conflict with Russia. And in this circumstance now, they are showing signs that Ukrainian positions have been made over the Dnieper River, which is separating Kherson from, you know, the other side where the uh, Russians are holding. So, first things first, I will pull up this map because it is the one we're all used to. So, I'm going to make my face smaller. All right. So, we all remember when Kherson was taken back. It was a huge chapter in the war, and th there's no doubt about that. And there has been signs that Ukraine has passed uh, the Dnieper River, which is the river separating these this whole region. And they've taken up right on the M14 highway and bridge. Uh, they have taken this area taken or they have put positions in this area and i say that because we're already talking about it <laughs> and there have been plenty of videos online and and a plenty of different uh stuff i've been seeing of ukrainian soldiers um very discreetly crossing the river on boats and putting up positions in this area. Now, I'm curious. I'm curious how this is going to turn out because this this is a big move. That if they're able to get a you know a standing ground and they're able to continue to push over the Dnieper River and push the Russians back away from the Dnieper River, right? Like pushing them away enough to where their artillery is out of range of the river which would allow them to pass way more frequently but as this has said the blamed over centralization of like slow rate of russian artillery fire they were able to get past it because the rate of artillery fire was so low they were able to cross the river now if they're able to push them back even slightly or aggravate them have them focus on other things means an increased amount of Ukrainian soldiers can pass over the Dnieper River, which is going to continue to inflame this issue and pushing all the way south or possibly pushing them in this direction, cutting off Crimea and then eventually pushing them out. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this TikTok video. I am also going to post this on YouTube for the hexes of it, but, um, this is big. I wanted to get on my computer and record this and you know just talk about it. Hey, this is a huge news for everyone. And it's just a horrible news day for fucking Russia. They are probably shitting their pants. Someone's getting their ass chewed out. I guarantee it. Anyway, have a lovely day, everyone. Make sure to check the merch links in my bio and have a wonderful day.